Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, hi, nice to meet you. As you have seen from the title, our topic is Utkutu Vik that recently happened. Sorry if my pronunciation sucked, but I'm going to be talking about my favorite collections from the Utkutu Vik. My initial intention was to just show my favorite looks, but there were so many, so I couldn't <laughs> decide on my most favorite ones, that's why I decided to talk about collections instead anyways you got the drill let's get right into it my first favorite collection was made by robert woon his collection was based on horror he used some elements that resemble blood hunting silhouettes that red look still makes me uncomfortable in a good way the color palette was mainly red black creamy like white i think it was one of the best collections ever and i think it was very interesting he always puts his creativeness in different ways through his designs. What he meant by horror could also be phobias in my opinion because you can see some elements that resembles an arson or a fire, broken pieces of glass, uh, being afraid of getting hurt, you know, blood. For instance, in some situations I don't like seeing blood and I go down, I faint sometimes anyways. I mean, when I look at those silhouettes different masks and the scary silhouette i mentioned they all remind me of also american horror story maybe he took inspiration from this series too i don't know blood stain on a wedding dress resembles kill bill's bride my initial thought was carrie you know how she gets covered in blood i don't know i like seeing how he used different elements touches in this collection the umbrella designs were also interesting it could all be hidden for weird nightmares i don't know you wouldn't see a black rain right but the umbrella had black stains i had had a red spot over it i don't know i think he also wanted to set the scene of a horror movie you know it's a rainy day it's a dark day blah 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 maybe someone murdered a rich woman who knows fingers in the form of sunglasses or glasses the interesting heads the roses in terms of more textile he used drapes to give movement, sheer fabrics. He used flame pattern on the sheer fabrics. He used satin too, I believe. I mean, it was a mix of elegance and horror. I really like that. And next we have Scaparelli. First of all, I have to say that Pat McGrath really nailed this season. She made ear makeup that you can see from the pictures. I think it was very stunning. She and her team painted models ears with silver paint, then put crystals on it. They put huge earrings so that it all looked like a whole earpiece i really loved it in terms of fabric choices and textile choices i saw lots of tassels in this week i will show you other examples from other collections too as you can see from the pictures they used velvet as always crystals the iconic keyhole detail and buckles lots of buckles old phone detail was one of my favorites daniel wanted to show past me Meeting future so I think he really nailed it there was a robo baby that made you hold it was very interesting and creepy in a way another thing that caught my eye was laces you know Turkish people will understand me we have a how can I put it coffee table coverage like fabric I don't know what's the right word for it but it has similar holes like that I think of it as a cloth and it has laces in those corners I don't know, it reminds me of that. It's giving crafty like feeling. I saw an article a couple of days ago and they showed these laces that I'm trying to point out and said crafty things. So I hope I make my statement clear. There were certain, and they said that he probably was inspired by Elsa Schiaparelli's old look for that pattern leather dress with a color. I think it was interesting and good homage. You can see, of course 
corsets, huge shoulders, capes are back, you know, Saint Laurent also used lots of capes and Schiaparelli says I'm here for it too. It was chic, well thought, very structured collection as a whole, I really loved it. Daniel never fails to amaze me. Next we have an insanely talented designer from India which is Rahul Mishra. When I saw a picture from that collection I instantly went to Vogue Runway and examined the whole collection and he nailed it, it was amazing. It was nothing like I have seen before, I think it was very unique. Normally I don't fancy insects at all, I hate them actually, you know bugs and lizards. Uh, whenever I was in Fethiye I was really afraid of lizards too. Don't laugh at me but I don't like them. He made them elegant, he made them fashionable and it was really amazing if you ask me. Like I said he referenced moths, dragonflies, lizards, butterflies, bees. He also used lamp-like design with lizards on top of it. You know how insects are attracted by light. I think it was a fun touch. Petri dishes that contained dragonfly and butterflies. In terms of gowns he used the power of volumes through tulle designs. Tulle like pompons in a sense. Velvet, a pop of pink to make the color palette more playful in my opinion. I really loved it as a whole. It was truly a masterpiece. That's what couture is. <laughs> Next we have Jean-Paul Gaultier ex Simon Rocha. You know Jean-Paul Gaultier retired and he always asked for other designers to design a couture collection but he also goes to shows so that is amazing and this time the guest was Simon Rocha. Simon was one of my favorite designers ever. I think she has a unique sense of fashion if that makes sense. I love her designs. Perfectly combined her signature touches with Jean-Paul Gaultier's epic fashion history. I think it was a perfect mixture. You can see lots of ribbons, sailor hats, pointy nipples. This is very iconic of Jean-Paul Gaultier. He did lots of pointy nipple designs before. While speaking of references, I would like to show a collage that I made thanks to Fashion Clown 96 and Heinz Nobite on Instagram. Okay, if you are watching. Mwah. I took the pictures from these accounts. You can see some of the references. She took inspiration from 1998, 1984, you know, custom Madonna look and the sailor look that you can see at the bottom of the collage. I think she perfectly combined the sailor element with her own touches, it made these stripes with ribbons. That was very clever in my opinion. You can see how Jean-Paul Gaultier admires Simon Rocha. He said, Simon modernizes with twist, mixing together biker and romantic cultures. I love it. I 100% agree with them. I wanted my residency to feel provocative, playful, sensual, historic, scientific. I wanted a collusion. You nailed it, in my opinion. It was a perfect mixture, as I mentioned before. And last but not least, Jean said, she is my choice because she brings something different. I'm not a teacher, she is her own. Exactly. They understand each other perfectly they let their creativeness talk, they didn't interrupt each other and they somehow meet in the halfway and made a gorgeous collection. I never knew I needed this collaboration, it was stunning. You can see lots of jewelry like eyebrows and lip designs as well. Bows, as I said, ribbons, laces. That Turkish-like laces was used in this collection too with the dress. I would be so happy if I succeed at expressing this lace thing. Metal roses were very interesting accessories for models. I really love them. Flower earrings were gorgeous and ribbon earrings as well. Glows were used lots of times through this week. I saw a designer on TV the other day. He said that glows will be huge this year and I was like yeah right but he was damn right. I am so ashamed of myself because you will see lots of glows in other collections too. 
can you just look at the shoes how she elevated stripper like shoes into something interesting and elegant i am really amazed kylie also wore a similar pair to show you could also see a lot of volume crystals sheer fabrics as well corset details of course beautifully structured corsets i am just here for it thank you for this collaboration if you'll ever see my review you won't but i'm gonna say it anyways another epic show oh my god maison magella they nailed it john galliano you are not a human you are oh. You are a genius. I am so amazed. I usually don't watch fashion shows because I'm too lazy. I just look at the pictures through Walk Around Me. But on Instagram, I saw their show. I'm glad that I watched it because it changed my whole perspective. I was so touched by it. He really put a stunning movie from old times, you know, from old Paris, a vintage movie. It was amazing. I wish I was invited or I hope that the models walked the wrong way realized how lucky they are because it was truly an art i haven't got enough words to express my admiration it was amazing please go watch it after you finish my video back to my comments the whole collection reminded me of a series of unfortunate events if you watch the movie or tv show that netflix made but movie is more similar to the feeling i got from this collection because they are like like tired artists theater actors slash actresses coming from a dance like john said himself he said i imagined a dancing night you know you get wet it is all sensual it is all dark outside and movie day shot actually resembles his points that he mentioned actually i really got that feeling and i'm sure you will get that feeling too they are artists from old paris they are trying to make a living out of theater and dance and they are tired they are walking in the streets of paris they are in their costumes they are still in that artism mood makeup was made by pat mcgrath and her team once again it was amazing they used a glass like spray on top of the faces to make them look like more baby doll like you know that old ceramic ones it is just perfect they are loners of paris in terms of design i think he took inspiration from the Victorian era to you know tight tight corsets he said that we did it on purpose because it's couture and our models are prepared for that uh, tightness so we had to do it kind of thing it feels like 90s it feels like 2000s lots of drama going on with the designs the hair design also took inspiration from Belle Epoque era too as they put it laces once again goggles that's why I mentioned series of unfortunate events you know those old gears that they used to wear tassels once again the cardboard like design was so interesting please don't hate me but i initially thought that he was inspired by vivian westwood too in the book of vivian westwood that she prepared with ian kelly if i am not wrong and remember correctly she said that john used to copy me a lot i don't know but i want to do justice for him because i think he nails it and we never saw a show like this in years also Gwendolyn Christie walked the show she said that fashion is my passion for many years and I was beyond happy to walk this show it was like a movie she said with the movements and last but not least you can see the makeup and hair up close he used vintage touches in a perfect way with Pat if I was at that show I would do a standing ovation and I would probably cry a little bit. Next, we have Alaya. It was very interesting through the materials they used. For example, as I saw from Instagram, they used one single merino wool for entire collection. That's what fashion should be about, utility and sustainability. I think it was so amazing and congratulations to the team. They also used 3D printed belt for a dress. It was 
one of the most talked pieces from this week it was gorgeous once again pom pom like cheerleader details on the arms were very interesting huge bangles gloves once again they used dark color palettes tassels once again and mushroom like trousers were also one of the most mentioned pieces this week so stunning so versatile and someone said this is what quiet luxury looks like and i agree with her maybe not so quiet because there are lots of huge huge silhouettes you know trousers are oversized skirts has volumes but i can understand what she tried to mean it was so chic so bold i am here for it next we have valentino and i have to start with saying that they saw one of the reels video i reposted and commented on it i was so shocked when i saw the notification so they made my day anyways back to collection they use sequins sparkly details tinsel like details on coats and on tops and feather was back do they say ostrich feather for these details if i'm wrong please correct me color blocks are back they use vibrant colors with cold colors and made the outfits look very interesting and impactful i really love the lace mask they used pleats were there gloves once again oversized skirts too but also with fit in trousers as well sheer fabric once again it was a perfect collection i loved how they used huge latex like gloves with that baby blue look with sequin skirt i believe we saw lots of sequins in this week and valentino was one of them the cleavages the volumes everything was on point i love how they always bring their atelier workers at the end of the show i think every brand should do that give spotlight to the real workers i know pier paolo is the designer he is the mastermind but the atelier workers are the ones who put his vision to life i think it is so sweet of him for doing this i have to say this you know how pantone said peach like color was the color of this year thankfully valentino used that color it was more vibrant than pantone mentioned but it was so nice to see a fashion house using this color you could also see cherry red too but orange was here so i think they used it perfectly with beige tones and silver tones you know metallic like feeling it was the perfect mixture of elegance with office wear in a sense you know the trousers and pencil like skirts i am so here for it bravo <laughs> next we have chanel this collection has a special place in my heart because the troll venue the set design was made by kendrick lamar dave free and mike carson if you know me you know how obsessed i am with kendrick lamar so it was so nice to see him at the show designing the area actually with uh, other two i mentioned bravo to all of them and he also made a song for the trailer for this show you know the clip that they shot with naomi campbell i think the song is actually called button two whole theme was about chanel's iconic button and they used it on the designs obviously as kendrick said they were amazed by how everything was made by hand chanel always amazes me with that handwork embroiderments atelier workers too chanel is not my style but i am always stunned by their attention to detail their effort to the fabrics you know a skirt has a bag like tool detail on the side opaque panty houses with sandals if you watch my trend prediction series on instagram or tiktok i said heels over socks and here we are we use lots of loafers with socks but heels are now the replacement of it i know it's not a groundbreaking thing and not a new thing but i am happy to see that one of my predictions is here in the collection they use lots of baby pink pastel colors and clone like colors to make an homage to old days like i said lots of buttons to capes once again or we could say hoodies too i could see jen from blackpink wearing that black dress with white skirt underneath i think it is so great for her we can also say sandy lingification of chanel was here i've never seen them using lots of ribbons like 
like this i think when you think of ribbons the first brand that comes to mind is sandaling so all these baby pink colors with contrasting black remind me of old chanel too but nowadays sandaling does it much more when compared to others so but of course chanel was used to be like that too you know when lily rose were their active ambassador and walked the runway you know kind of 2015 chance era do you remember that perfume when it was out there chanel was more girly girly so i think the collection is also a hint for that era i really loved it it was a, such a sweet collection once again well thought in my opinion yeah it was beautiful <laughs> next we have miss sohi i think my favorite look from this collection is the third look you can see the latex burgundy almost glow like detail with the light blue dress it has metallic details i believe sequins i don't wear my glasses now so i can't see clearly but they look like sequins it was amazing miss soy always praise wonders she is a true couture if that makes sense she was born to do that and i'm sorry for simba's barks it was all about glamour you could see lots of florals i think it's an homage to her asian heritage too and lots of volumes in the dresses she used sheer fabrics in the skirts and corsets satin vibrant colors this brand is not my style but like i said she creates wonders it is real effort it is real work rather than the factory made clothes this is the real fashion next we have fendi fendi's collection was all about textures textures and textures they used lots of sequins and the whole collection was renaissance tour worthy if you ask me the silver metallics it was all about the glam you know disco like feeling they are no fur free so they don't use real fur but they use a fabric that resembles fur you know when i was a child my mom used to use these yarns that were shiny so it reminded me of that dresses that coats so seeing them as fabrics made me happy to see a high fashion brand using it made me happy i don't know in the dresses you could see lots of illusions i don't want to say sunglasses but optical like glasses were very interesting very scientific but also reminds me of bikers glasses too sheer dresses once again i love them they look like greek statues the last slide is very elegant very shiny shiny i wish all of these were mine i like this collection so much perfect job last but not least i'm going to wrap my video with giambattista valli i hope i pronounced their name correctly they use lots of florals lots of volume capes once again feathers i'm not such a huge fan but it is couture so it is a way of making whole look interesting crystals ribbons once again velvets tools and pink lots of pink actually and once again we saw orange too we saw purple it is great for them to use different colors and fabrics and prints to make the whole collection more interesting and i love the looks with rosettes too you know with roses you can go a bit cliche or tacky but i think they nailed it and it is the perfect degree of romanticism if that makes sense anyways i have other collections that i like to but i wanted to talk only about these brands so that the length of the video doesn't go crazy thank you for your patience what were your favorite collections or looks please let me know in the comments so that we can have a little chat i would like to know about your favorites too if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the bell notification so that you you will be notified whenever I post a new video. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.